हेलो गैश रिशिया सो द रियल मी एक्स टू प्रो इट वॉज लॉन्च बैक इन लेट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एंड एवरी वन लिटरली वन क्रेजी बिहेंड दिस फोन एंड वी ऑल नो वाई बिकॉज दिस फोन हैज गॉट टॉप ऑफ द लाइन स्पेक्स फॉर अ रिलेटिवली चीपर प्राइस नाउ या देर वॉज अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी रिगार्डिंग द प्राइस एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट स्टफ बट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी दैट दिस फोन इज ओवर प्राइस दैट आई थिंक इज कैंड ऑफ अ पार्ट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट वी हैड फ्रॉम रियल मी बट नेवर द लेस इफ वी लुक एट थर्टी थाउजेंड दिस इज स्टिल द बेस्ट फोन दैट यू कैन गेट अंडर दिस प्राइस पॉइंट आई मीन इफ यू आर एक्सट्रीमली टाइट ऑन बजट ना वाइल एवरी थिंग वॉज ग्रेट ऑन दिस फोन द कैमराज वो ग्रेट दिस हार्डवेयर और द स्पेक्स शीट वॉज ऑब्वियसली वेरी ग्रेट बट द ओनली डाउन साइड और द ओनली क्रिटिसिजम दैट दिस फोन हैज एवर रिसीव वॉज फॉर इट सॉफ्टवेयर नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल इंक्लूडिंग मी लाइक द सॉफ्टवेयर और द स्किन ऑन दिस डिवाइस एंड या इट वॉज अनोइंग इट वॉज नॉट रियली दैट मच गुड लुकिंग इट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू वुड लाइक टू हैव ऑन अ फ्लैगशिप डिवाइस ऑल दो इट डज गेट द जॉब डन आई डोंट थिंक दैट इट इज अ रियली गुड स्किन टू रॉक ऑन योर फ्लैगशिप डिवाइस दैट यू हैव पेड लाइक थर्टी थाउजेंड और थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू लुक एट वन प्लस डिवाइस वी गेट अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ग्रेट हार्डवेयर एंड ग्रेट सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज दक्सीजन ओ एस बट एनी वेज स्पीकिंग अबाउट द रियल मी एक्स टू प्रो नाउ अ जनरल सोल्यूशन टू सॉल्विंग ऑल ऑफ दीज फर्मवेयर रिलेटेड और सॉफ्टवेयर रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम इज टू फ्लैश अ कस्टम रॉम नाउ अनफॉर्चुनेटली द रियल मी एक्स टू प्रो डजेंट हैव अ वेरी गुड कस्टम रॉम सपोर्ट सो या दैट मे कम अप एज अ बमर Uh, at least now by the time i'm recording this video this phone has got no actual custom rom available but because of google with android oeo update we do have got gsis so gsis are a global or universal images or basically firmwares that you can flash on any android device it doesn't matter what a device is or uh, you know what brand you are using you just need an unlocked bootloader and you're just good to go flashing the gsis so that's what i did i did uh, download the pixel experience gsi i flashed it on this phone and I'll be sharing my experience with this device on the Pixel experience. So firstly, right from the boot everything is just Pixel experience. The animations, the transitions or you know the transitional animations when you move from one application to another application, the recent menu, the not- notification toggles, the notification panel, uh, the icons, everything is just purely stock Android. And you know this is one of the most satisfying experiences that I've had on the Realme X2 Pro. this skin pixel experience does utilize 100% of what the hardware offers on this phone and i am super impressed with this now obviously because this is a gsi this has got some bugs or some issues firstly is that the in display fingerprint sensor is not working secondly the face unlock is not working now face unlock is not an issue actually it has been removed by google itself Uh, with the android 10 update google had some sort of um, privacy related issue so they totally removed it from their smart lock feature but apart from that the in display fingerprint scanner doesn't work but uh, the basic or the manual security uh, system does work pretty fine so you have got no issues regarding that but if you are a person who does use the in display fingerprint scanner quite extensively then i think that you know this uh, rom may not be ideal for you or this gsi might, might not be ideal for you the best solution is to wait for a proper custom rom or proper zip file to come for, for the realme x2 pro and then flash that but anyway speaking about uh, the other issue that this phone has or the realme x2 pro on pixel experience has that is no 90 hertz or higher refresh rate support now i'd like to take a moment and talk about this 90 hertz or 60 hertz thing now in my previous reviews i have always mentioned that you know 90 hertz is so satisfying this is one of the best uh, piece of tech that you know we are seeing in 2019 or we I have entered 2020 with and I'm super happy about that. And while I am super happy and this all seems a lot more satisfying to use, I don't think that it makes a huge difference if you have got like proper animations on your device. The Realme X2 Pro on ColorOS 6 doesn't really have a lot of good animations. They are not really that much good or satisfying to look at. So when you switch from 90 Hz to 60 Hz on ColorOS 6, it all feels laggy and doesn't really feel that much good. But when I switched to 60 Hz on this uh, Pixel experience for Realme X2 Pro, I did not notice a huge difference. And this is not just the case with this device; it has been the case with almost all the devices. If, for example, you look at iPhones, iPhones have got really good and slow and smooth animations within itself when you launch apps or when you you know move through your phone or applications in general. So if you look at iPhones they don't have a high refresh rate displays but because they have like really good animations everything just feels a lot more smoother and this is not just my opinion is even Gizmodict has spoken about this in his tweet and there are a lot of people who I know uh, have been talking about this apart from that there are no serious issues as such I've been using this phone uh, uh, it has been my daily driver this Pixel experience and there are literally zero issues 
call connects properly vlt works you also get good cellular strength so we have got no issues regarding the cellular reception or network reception as such performance is top notch because this is very much light it's not exactly optimized for a specific device but you know stock android is always better than these custom skins when it comes to raw performance that is also visible in gaming in gaming as well i was able to see like 2 to 3% of boost when it comes to gaming now don't quote me on this this is just a rough idea or a rough difference that i found out between the stock firmware or color os 6 and this phone and i'm pretty much satisfied with that obviously you miss out on game space so you'll have to turn off the notifications and you know do not disturb uh, manually but i don't think it's a huge issue like as such now because this is a pixel firmware or purely stock android firmware you do miss out on a lot of functionality that color os 6 offers color os 6 uh, offers functionality like a long screenshot and all of the other stuff like sidebar and you know there are a bunch of features like gestures and all of that so you are going to miss out on that but i never use these features that much extensively so i don't think that you know lack of functionality is really an issue you get the necessary functionality that you need in your day to day usage so you know even that is not a issue for me but that doesn't mean it's not a issue for you guys some of you might love the features that color os 6 brings in so you know that's totally up to you to flash it or not and we also do get the android 10 gestures on the pixel experience rom or the PX, pixel experience gs app and those work uh, super fine there are no issues whatsoever and they are all pretty smooth the google assistant triggers pretty well and yeah overall the experience has been pretty good and the pixel experience also has a native dark mode which is actually purely black it's not uh, the one that we see on color os 6 so it will save a lot of battery if you are using your phone on dark mode so yeah that's a good thing in my opinion so now how do you flash this so i'll give a thread for this installation process and everything in the description box below it is basically a thread for stock aosp rom or stock aosp gsi but you can use uh, this pixel experience gsi as well the download link for this pixel experience gsi will also be given in the description so you just need to swap your android 10 gsi with the pixel experience gsi don't worry about gaps and all of that stuff it's all pre included the process is very easy but still if you guys want a dedicated video i'll make that if this video gets around uh, 10000 views or so which i'm sure it won't happen but anyways if somehow it does happen then you know i'll i'll make a dedicated video on how to install this by the time you can know uh, let me know in the comment section what you feel about this pixel experience gsi do you want to install it on your phone would you like it or you know would you install it on the cost of losing your warranty as well so yeah that's it uh, one important life update guys uh, basically i'll be continuing youtube part time so you know consistency might get ruined a little bit uh, and the quality might take a little bit of hit but i'm trying my level best to you know not uh, get diverted into a lot of other things and focus a lot more on the channel but it's going to be difficult because i'm doing this part time i've got several reasons for that which i cannot cover in this video uh but yeah anyways that's it guys if this video helped you in some way or the other be sure to leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching